Oregon is the number one producer of Christmas trees in the U.S. and we produce about uh, four and a half million trees. So our biggest consuming state is California. A lot of trees get shipped to California. Our biggest export destination is Mexico. My name is Chow Landgren. I'm Oregon State University Extension Christmas Tree Specialist. And I've been working as a Christmas tree specialist for about 11 years, and I've been with OSU for almost 41 years. Oregon's a, a great place to grow Christmas trees, as it is for many other crops. So most of the Christmas trees are produced in the Lamette Valley and often in the foothills, like of Silverton and around through Salem and down to Eugene. Some of the traits that we're looking for in selecting trees for inclusion in the orchard or in your home, lots of branches, and lots of branches means lots of buds in the leader. We're also looking for trees that have an upright growth habit and dark green color. All of these trees have also been tested for keepability. Essentially, that means how quickly the needles fall off at Christmas. So this rootstock is probably seven years old, but the graft is from a tree that was over a hundred years old. So the graft maintains that age. It, it thinks it's an older tree than it, than it is from the grafted um, rootstock. The advantage of that for us in, in breeding trees is that the older tree material will produce cones faster than a young tree. And we get the exact replica of the tree that we're trying to get seed from. The purpose of these orchards will be to um, eventually get seed to plant new um, seedlings for future Christmas trees. So we've been doing progeny testing of seedlings from trees all over the world and what we have grafted in here are the best of the best of those progeny. And as these trees grow up, we're going to produce seed that will be used for the next crops of, or future crops of Christmas trees.